Afternoon everybody. Today we're going to talk about vibration dampening on the Sicario and making some adjustments to improve the tune so that we can essentially push the P and D gain or the PD balance, uh, but just generally improving smooth flight performance, which is of course what we're all after. Uh, how it's set up on the bench at the moment, um, it's kind of a typical place that you might start with a tune on one of these. Um, the filter setting is uh, at 1.1, one, one. Uh, master multiplier is at 1.5, the PD gain is actually at 1.2 just to um, highlight the issue that I'm experiencing here, but the PD balance is at 1 as it is, D-min is off, so that PD ratio stays the same on the bench. Um, and first of all, I'd just like to say I don't recommend that you kind of tune a drone on the bench without the propellers on it, but I noticed some really very low frequency oscillations in the arms on the Sicario um, when I was just hovering it next to me, and that's with and without the payload on it. And if I hadn't been doing all of that redundancy testing, I probably would have just accepted it as a limitation of this frame and, and kind of carried on with it and just accepted that I couldn't push the PD gain or the, um, or the PD balance very far. Uh, but what I noticed is that when the drone's in the air next to you, it's really hard to demonstrate, I haven't got any footage of it, but you can actually move the arms left to right on the Sicario quite easily compared to even five and six inch quads that I've got. You know, there's a, because the carbon, the grain in the carbon is the other way around compared to a conventional drone, you've got this kind of springiness um, which is in line with the power that the motors are, are providing on a normal drone. Um, it's locked on that flat plane with the carbon, but um, on this system, it's, it's kind of locked up and down but not left and right. And um, if you just arm the drone, you can hear sort of a little bit of trilling there, but you know, it's on the bench, it's, sort of, it's fair enough. But if I pick it up like this, as I arm it and all eight motors kick in together, you've, you feel this kind of oscillation sort of shoot around the frame as it arms and as, as it disarms. Um, and it's, it's quite subtle, but it's definitely there and it, just every time I've experienced this weirdness in whatever form with this frame, it, it's always that sort of same really low frequency so that you've just got no opportunity, of, uh, no opportunity of tuning it out with filtering because it's so low. I don't know if you can hear that, probably not, but obviously the um, desk is amplifying that noise for me, but it's, it's almost like plucking a really low double bass string. Um, and when this really started to worry me is when I was doing the redundancy testing and I was only running half of the motors at a time. So and an easy way to simulate that is instead of having it at Octo 8, I'm just going to set it to Quad X. So now we've only got four motors. And if I arm it on the bench, oh, I'm to do that. If I arm it like this, you can see it's not happy at all. And it's a lot more subtle when I'm holding it. But the problem is definitely there. And as, as I said before, it's actually, it's visible in the arms vibrating when the, when the drone's in fright, so flight, sort of exactly that, exactly that frequency. And all I've done there is turned off the bottom four motors. When the system's working well, You've got the top and the bottom motors sort of counter-rotating against each other and I think that masks the issue to a certain extent. One thing that you can do to really, really help is uh, move the PWM frequency up in um, BL heli, but that's not recommended for larger motors because you lose torque and I think there's, there's, other, there's other reasons as well, it, it might not work so well. So you don't want to be pushing that too far. Bearing in mind that even set up like this, the filtering's not being pushed, the um, you know, the PD balance, the PD gain is not, not being pushed at all. It's, it's pretty vanilla, really, and yet we're getting these sort of quite, quite noticeable issues that with the frame as it is, it's completely impossible to tune that out because you'd have to, you'd have to filter so low that the latency on the filters would be absolutely huge. It would be, you know, sort of... Well, I mean, it would be getting confused with the actual movement of the craft in the air, so 
there needs to be a way to improve that. Just by way of a bit of a comparison here, I've got a MRM 250, a pretty old school frame, the motors are really bashed up, um, it's not in great condition, um, and in the tuning tab here I've put the uh, both filter sliders up to 1.3, uh, and then in the uh, PID uh, settings here, master multiplier is at 1.5, PD balance is at 2, so this is, you know, serious derivative, uh, P and D gain is at 1.2, so uh, roll and pitch P is 75 and 83, the D is at 107 and 117, so, you know, this is far, far beyond what we were testing on the Sicario, um, and if I arm it... You can see it's just showing none of those characteristics whatsoever. I mean, it's worth bearing in mind that these motors are so, so much less powerful, and the whole frame is smaller, so all those all those resonant frequencies are going to be that much higher. But you can you can see on this frame you can you can bend the arms up and down, but you just can't bend them side to side at all. Now I'm not proud of this next test at all, and I appreciate the production value is fairly low. <laughs> on this on this channel at the best of times, but um, I'm going to sync to a new low now, and I'm actually going to use some um, white polyprop, which I've found, um, to secure the arms together and show you what difference that makes. And I'll be the first to admit that this looks shocking, and I don't suggest anyone flies their Sicario like this at all. But I haven't changed any of the settings in Beta Flight. Uh, we are still running that 1.5 master multiplier, PD balance, PD gain, both the same, filter settings are set to 1, so all relatively vanilla, demons off, um, and this is, the, this is the difference, we're still only on the four top motors, so if you remember from before, it was, you know, it was really vibrating really badly, the D10 was kicking off big time, um, so here we go. And you can see it's just so, so much smoother. The, um, the tension between the arms just, just really, really helps. And it's just so much harder. It's, I can't pluck it kind of like a bass like I was doing before anymore. It's much higher frequency. And of course, the higher we can make that resonant frequency, the easier it is to filter out. And, and once it's like this, I'm in a position where, if, you know, if I wanted a if I wanted a PD balance of let's say 1.5, which you could well, I've seen I've seen people using similar PD balances, then and you can hear that the trilling has, you know, it's it's got worse. It's definitely there, but the the frequency is just much much higher. So the next thing that I need to do is come up with a test which I would be happy to fly because I am not putting this in the air like that.